He is known for his contributions to logical positivism and the Vienna Circle. He is recognized for his work in semantics and the philosophy of science. He is Rudolf Carnap. Rudolf Carnap, a philosopher and logician, was born into a family of diverse backgrounds. His father, a self-made man, had risen from poverty to become a successful factory owner. His mother came from an academic family, with her father being an educational reformer and her brother a renowned archaeologist. Growing up, Carnap had the opportunity to accompany his uncle on an expedition to Greece, igniting his curiosity about the world. Carnap's education began at the Barman Gymnasium and later at the Carolo Alexandrinum Gymnasium in Jena. It was during his time at the University of Jena that he became captivated by Immanuel Kant's critique of pure reason, studying it under the guidance of Bruno Bach. He also had the privilege of attending the courses of Gottlob Freya, a prominent figure in mathematical logic. While studying, Carnap became involved in the German youth movement, which emphasized the importance of personal development and self-expression. However, his studies were interrupted by World War I, and he found himself reluctantly serving in the German army. After the war, Carnap resumed his academic pursuits, studying physics at the University of Berlin under the tutelage of none other than Albert Einstein himself. Carnap's passion for philosophy and logic grew upon encountering Bertrand Russell's groundbreaking work. Inspired by Russell's logical innovations, he sought to surpass traditional philosophy by incorporating logical methods into scientific inquiry. A fortuitous meeting with Hans Reichenbach led him to join the influential Vienna Circle, a group of intellectuals committed to logical positivism. It was during this time that Carnap developed his seminal ideas on semantics, drawing inspiration from Alfred Tarski's model theoretic method. As the political climate in Nazi Germany became increasingly hostile, Carnap, a socialist and pacifist, realized he needed to leave. In 1935, he emigrated to the United States and became a naturalized citizen in 1941. He held academic positions at various institutions, such as the University of Chicago and UCLA, where he continued to make significant contributions to philosophy and logic. Despite facing challenges and controversies throughout his career, Rudolf Carnap remained committed to his pursuit of scientific knowledge and logical inquiry. His legacy lives on through his numerous publications, including works on semantics, modal logic, and the foundations of probability in inductive logic. Carnap's impact on the field of philosophy continues to be celebrated for his dedication to logical rigor and his innovative approach to understanding the world. In the early 20th century, a young philosopher named Rudolf Carnap embarked on a groundbreaking journey of understanding the nature of space and time. His doctoral thesis, Der Raum, Ein Beitrag zur Wissenschaftslehre, aimed to explore the philosophical foundations of geometry and provide a logical basis for the theory of space and time in physics. Carnap recognized that the concepts of space were used across various disciplines, including mathematics, physics, and philosophy. However, he observed that these disciplines often attributed different meanings to the same concept. This discrepancy led to inconsistencies and contradictions in theories concerning space. To address this issue, Carnap proposed three separate notions of space. The first was formal space, which referred to space in the realm of mathematics, a purely abstract system of relations. The second was intuitive space, consisting of certain contents of intuition that were independent of individual experiences. Finally, there was physical space, which encompassed the actual spatial facts derived from experience. By distinguishing between these three types of space, Carnap aimed to highlight the different forms of knowledge they implied. Each kind of space required its own unique investigation and understanding. Through his dissertation, Carnap emphasized the importance of clarifying the meanings of concepts and avoiding the misuse of language, which he believed often led to philosophical contradictions. Carnap's work on the philosophy of space in his doctoral thesis laid the groundwork for his later philosophical ideas. It introduced the notion that the misuse of language could give rise to philosophical problems and emphasized the significance of distinguishing between formal and material modes of speech. His insights continue to be relevant in our daily lives, reminding us of the importance of precise communication and understanding the different meanings that concepts can hold in various contexts. By recognizing and clarifying these distinctions, we can navigate the complexities of language and thought more effectively, leading to clearer and more coherent philosophical and scientific discourse. Rudolf Carnap, a prominent philosopher of the 20th century, dedicated years of his life to a groundbreaking work called Der Logische Aufbau der Welt. Published in 1928, this book became a cornerstone of modern epistemology and a forceful statement of the philosophical thesis of logical positivism. Carnap's work aimed to organize scientific statements and reveal their logical and conceptual structure. In Der Logische Aufbau der Welt, Carnap introduced the concept of constitution theory, 
which sought to systematize scientific knowledge using symbolic logic. According to Carnap, philosophical propositions are not true or false but consist of definitions and conventions about the language of science. On the other hand, scientific propositions are factual statements about the external reality, based on sensory perceptions that can be verified through further observations. Carnap's constitutional system organized concepts into a hierarchy, where they could be reduced and converted to basic ones. He argued that every scientific sentence should be translatable into another sentence, ensuring that the original terms and their translated counterparts have the same reference. The basis of this system, Carnap contended, was psychological, rooted in the, immediately given, basic elements comprising perceptual experiences. Through his work, Carnap demonstrated the possibility of defining and uniting all scientific concepts within a single conceptual system based on a few fundamental concepts. He provided a framework for organizing scientific knowledge and understanding the logical relations between concepts. Carnap's philosophical work not only revolutionized epistemology but also has practical implications for our daily lives. By understanding the logical structure of scientific statements, we can critically analyze information and differentiate between factual claims and mere conventions. This enables us to make informed decisions, evaluate evidence, and navigate a world saturated with diverse perspectives and competing claims. Rudolf Carnap's legacy lives on as his insights into the organization of scientific knowledge continue to shape contemporary philosophy and guide our pursuit of truth and understanding in a complex and ever-changing world. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.